Nation is sponsored by Sandbar Tackle, keeping you hooked. Steadfast Rods, the name says it all. Andy Andrews, New York Times best-selling author. Terra Firma Tackle, Austin Legacy Knives, every knife has a story, tell yours. Blink Slate Customs, Fish Gum, Excite the Strike, Pontchartrain Jigs. going on Gulf Coast Nation guys welcome back to another episode this week a little bit of excitement here a little bit of like no sleep a little bit of a uh, goofy energy but like always when do we get sleep yeah right what is sleep it is what is it 11 o'clock right now yep. we're about to jump in the truck just loaded everything up got a quick bite there's something calling around back there just got a quick bite to eat <laughs> And uh, loaded the coolers, reloaded the rods. We're going to stop by Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle, get some swim bait. We're going to go get on tarpon. That's the main game plan. So we're going to get there, park in the Okaloosa Pier parking lot, sleep in the truck so we're there for the morning bite. Let's do it. You bop! Just got to the pier here, went in, went ahead and got our passes. Got our passes and we got, let's see these right here. Oh boy, I'm gonna slide the camera right here. Ooh, man. Oh yeah. Seven little hoagie swim baits for tarpon in the morning. We've got stuff for king rigs and then we've got our, you know, spoon and snag and hook arsenal. So, right now it's like, what time is it? Close on your phone. Close to one, 12.30. 12.37. Alright, 12.37, and then we are up at 4.30 to jump out of the pier, get set up, get leaders tied, so we're there for sunrise, prepared. So, time to kick back, relax, and go to sleep. A little bit of shut-eye. Good morning. It is 4.30, and we have unloaded the cart. We got a little bit of sleep, and um, we're about to load all the gear on the end of the pier try to get some bait this morning and get on the kingfish bite in an early tarpon bite and then play the morning and uh, mid-morning and noon out how it may be but we're gonna try to take advantage of everything we can so boys ready for it let's do it yeah what's the goal kingfish tarpon kingfish tarpon bobo whatever we can get our hands on yep but we gotta be out there to do it so let's get there good Jack good morning so BG is still a great. You got 25 on it, so he's locking down. King just pop one there? Yeah, no, I got it. Oh, he's got it. He's ready to do it. I didn't get a chance to get the hook in. This is not a king. No, that's not a king. It's either a king or a shark, and if it's a king, you still don't want to follow him out anyway. What is it? I don't know. I've had him not jump before, but yeah, it's <laughs> really hot. Alright, well, some good action this morning. Not another start we wanted. Did you 
see him eat quick? Yeah. We saw him yesterday, he wouldn't eat. So we were hanging out, a little slow morning there. A couple kingfish, one bobo, lots of sharks, and uh, boy hooked up a live bait. Saw this guy swim by, we're seeing a lot of remoras, and didn't quite look like a remora, so pitched the swim bait to him in about two seconds flat. That big old cove mouth right there. Sucked him down, and we got a legal cobia. Definitely my PB, so that's exciting, especially from a pier, since we don't do this very often. So get him in the cooler, get more baits out. Let's do it. I don't want to get all fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, brother. I'll be offshore fishing. Offshore fishing for like two nuns. Be the so. eyes, Dylan. What the hell I found now? I would have hugged him, man. It would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we not Got precious cargo. Exciting stuff. Apparently, this doesn't happen every day on the pier. I wouldn't know because I never come to the pier. But we got a. What, what would be your job position? Pier. pier I'm, man, I'm the manager. Manager? Oh, my gosh. Pier manager came down, picked us up in the golf cart. Never felt more special in my life. <laughs> We're going down here to weigh this cobia on the official scale. I've also never caught a fish big enough to weigh on an official scale. So, going to Disney World, baby. <laughs> Woo, let's grab this thing. Hey, look, I'm not going to say too much about why I caught this cobia, because normally these local cobia don't eat, but check the hat. Check the hat. Check the hat. This is a good boy right here. Damn. I'm like a kid on Christmas. Could you go like through the bottom or? Yeah. Yeah. You're, it's about right. It's about to, it's about to yeah. bounce off. So. 27 pounds, baby. Yeah, we'll take a picture with it. All right. There you go, bro. I appreciate it, man. All right. Little, little midday, mid morning, right? What is it? 8 822. It's not even that. Time be passing slow here. So, a little mid morning after that cobia. I gotta say, one, sorry we did not get that on camera, but basically it went down where we were seeing a bunch of remora around the pilings. We're throwing for tarpon, we're throwing for kingfish this morning, and we saw what looked like a giant remora, and I was like, I don't think that's a remora. Blaine had a kingfish rig, I had a swim bait for tarpon, and Blaine was gonna toss the live bait on it, but I decided to go ahead and toss that swim bait, see if he would eat it because a lot of these local cobia do not like to eat um, as easy as that one did because as soon as that swim bait hit the water, he turned, gulped, and uh, we were on. Thank goodness I had that Saragossa because that thing went straight underneath the piling. I had to lock him down tight, pull him back out. We did pull him out. He was thrashing around, and then uh, we had a nice local pier guy here drop a good gaff down quick and get a good gaff shot on him. We got him up quick. That's my PB cobia. He weighed in at 27 pounds like you guys saw. Very exciting stuff. Obviously good eating, but good shark bait as well. Now the main goal, we've all shifted basically to tarpon fishing. So there's a lot of tarpon rolling through right now. Um, basically everyone's running 65 pound braid, right about 400, 500 yards of 65 pound braid to 80 pound fluorocarbon to these swim, bait, swim baits that we bought at the pier here. So at the Oglu's the pier, they sell these swim baits, nothing too fancy. You just want a good, strong shank hook and something that has that good paddle tail action. So. There's been a bunch of guys jumping tarpon, hooking up, breaking them off. So really just hoping to get our shot. That's what I want. Get a shot, show you guys the action, and show you how massive these things are and how beautiful they are when they come shooting out of the water. Little morning session out on the Okaloosa Pier. Success, success. All right, we uh, stole a bobo from somebody because I called dibs. We got a little bobo, <laughs> and then loud. and then I snuck that cobia. Morning success. We got a cobia in the box, need in the box. We're actually gonna run over here to Destin Harbor. Wait for the charter boats to come in, see if we can't get more shark bait while we're here. Go ahead and maximize our time because it's, you know, the bite's gotten slow. It's a little warm. We'll probably catch some Z's and then come back out for the evening bite. So we'll catch you guys then. Yay! All right, real quick. Basically, everybody got some shut eye. Back at the pier. Gonna get out there, get on some tarpon, get on some kingfish. Have a good time. Yep. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oi, Jack just jumped off a big old tarpon, but they're here. Bites on, bites on. You guys mind if I record behind you here? No, go ahead. Don't run again. Does it do it? Bite him up. Oh, the tarpon. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Oh, wait, it looks like it's dead. I can see. Yeah, that's huge. Okay, she's just leaving. Well, that's huge. Oh, he went back around the other side. In the boat? Uh, Jack's holding on to last hope. Slide over a little bit. All right, guys. We are closing out the Okaloosa Pier episode. Don't know if we'll be back pier fishing anytime soon. Not that it wasn't fun, but we definitely enjoy our land-based shark fishing and our offshore fishing in the boat. So it was fun. It was a learning experience for sure. We got that cobia. We got some bobo. Jack jumped that tarpon earlier. So I'm not going to say it was bad, but Destin's a long drive, and we've got some trips coming up. So. Be done with it. Blaine, you have a good time, man? Oh, uh, it was all right. It was, it was all, right. all right. Jack's over here holding on the last bit of hope that he I has. caught a seagull this morning. Jack so. jumped that tarpon, and I don't know if I got the second jump or not, but he popped him off, and uh, he's going to be probably upset the whole drive home. But that's going to be it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up, drop a comment below, share with your friends, and as always, we'll catch you guys next week. Yew!